Jam 2012. We're here at the Cork booth and we're talking to Rich and we're going to talk a little bit here about their new stage piano, SV1, uh, brand new from Cork here in 2012. Uh, yeah, we have actually updated our stage vintage piano with a, a beautiful new black finish. You can see we've got the uh, satin black finish here with black end caps and a matching black stand. So uh, it's got a wonderful new look and a much, much lower price tag. That's the other big news. The price on the SV1s has dropped very significantly. So if you've been holding off, now's your chance. Also, you can see over here we've got a very limited edition reverse key. And that's uh, available in either a 73 or an 88, just like the black version here. And uh, it's got that beautiful red body with reverse keys, uh, reminiscent of some beautiful old combo organs from the 60s. And uh, we also have rolling bags that uh, hold both the keyboard and the stand by itself. And I gig with one of these, and that bag is definitely a lifesaver. About how heavy is it? Is it uh, pretty uh, easy carry? Yeah, it's not bad at all. The, the, uh, the wheels on the bag uh, help with that a lot. And with the stand in place, it's very rigid. And I have a Mini Cooper, and loading this thing into a Mini Cooper is a hilarious sight. But, <laughs> but no, it's it's it is very lightweight as compared to many other stage pianos. Um, that being said, it's sturdy. You know, it's definitely not a flimsy piece of gear. So if you're looking for a stage piano that is roadworthy and uh, uh, and up to the task of night after night after night gigging. This is the one for you. Now, is there uh, some input-output, uh, USB and such, be able to use it as a controller if you have uh, some other Absolutely. maybe plugins you want to use on your, your laptop, carry this as your, your keyboard, and then uh, can use it as a controller? Absolutely. Uh, it does have USB for MIDI functionality, and it also comes with uh, editor software. And the editor lets you go a bit deeper than what's on the front panel. So you can customize, uh, for example, the amplifier modeling, which is tied to this uh, tube here. You can customize the uh, speaker cabinet that the amp is running through, separate EQ for the speaker by itself, stuff that's not available on the front panel, but dig a little deeper. And you can also use that USB port to add more sounds to the SV1. We have sound packs that are available from Korg.com slash SV1. Uh, download them for free, throw them in, add some splits and layers, and uh, you're ready for any gig. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks.